Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it's your boy Mega Crusher coming at you guys back again once again with a brand new video, and ladies and gentlemen, man oh man alive, did I ever wake up to some hyped as hell news, so let's waste no more time, let's get this shit rolling baby. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are ready. We have some exciting news, and it seems to me that the rumors have once again appeared to be true. So, what it is we got going on here, ladies and gentlemen, is we actually have ourselves a special announcement from Pokemon Go in regards to the next Raid Weekend event, and it's featuring my boy Rayquaza, baby! Woo! Now, let's go ahead and read up on the details here real quick. So, a new Raid Weekend has has been announced from March 15th to March 18th. Rayquaza will be available in raid battles. The Japanese notice for this raid weekend states that Shiny Rayquaza will not appear during the raid weekend. No. 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 Oh my god, no! Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? You mean to tell me that Shiny Rayquaza will not be making its rounds this time around? Are you absolutely shitting me, my dude? What? Oh my god, no! Okay, your boys managed to calm down here just a little bit, okay? Even though, okay, even though it says that the Japanese notice for the Raid Weekend stated that Shiny Rayquaza won't be making an appearance here this time around, until we actually see Niantic's confirmation as to whether or not Shiny Rayquaza will make its debut, make its epic as hell appearance or not, then we can't really jump ahead of ourselves if you know what I'm saying, man. And besides, okay, do you guys remember, okay, do you guys remember when there was the Clamp Pearl Research event? Niantic didn't announce Shiznickel as to whether or not it was going to be shiny. We were surprised ourselves, man. There, there, as soon as the first shiny clam appeared, we were like, WTF, man, like, why this, like, are you serious? Like, this wasn't announced that in any way, shape, and form that shiny clam pearl was going to be in the game. And lo and behold, man, I will not lie, you know, I was pleasantly surprised when, when I ended up finding out about that, if you know what I'm saying. And, okay... Do you guys remember, uh, it was back in January, right, where Kyogre and Groudon made their appearances yet again, but Niantic didn't announce that Shiny Groudon was going to be a thing, man, and lo and behold, it was. So, I'm kind of seeing maybe just a little bit of a pattern here, and I might be getting a little bit carried away, so I'm not saying, I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, I'm just simply pointing out something that I noticed. What if... Niantic is holding back the fact that it's going to be shiny, okay? What if Rayquaza actually is going to make its appearance at, in its shiny, glorious form? What if it does, man? Then that right there is just going to be absolutely hyped to the max, man! But do let me know your guys' thoughts down below about this, because we got to carry on with some more hyped as hell Pokemon news. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a big one here, okay? This involves Pokemon Sun and Moon anime episode titles, okay? And I can honestly say I'm really excited to see what this is all about. So, a Japanese TV guide has revealed new episode titles for upcoming episodes of the anime. And these episodes are set to air on March 17th, March 24th, 31st, and April 7th, respectively, okay? The first episode has Ash and friends encounter a child after Magikarp, but something starts happening to it. Okay, that's uh, it's pretty, a pretty interesting uh, one-line description right there. Don't exactly know what, what else to say about that, but... The second episode features the Ultra Beast Feromosa appearing and starting to attack trainers with Z-Crystals. What? Okay, like that's pretty interesting stuff. But Meow spots, spots it and falls in love with the Pokemon. I mean, Feromosa is a pretty uh, is a pretty beautiful looking Pokemon. So, I mean, it, I, I could see Meow, you know, falling in love with it. But hey, you know... It's an Ultra Beast, man. You know, you might want to be careful about that if I was you, Meowth. 
Fairmosa is dangerous. Oh, my lord. But anyways, guys, the third episode features the first appearance of Team Skull Leader. What? Guzma! Oh, my god. Holy moly, holy shit. Oh, my god. Dude. My boy Guzma. Your boy Guzma is making... Finally, it's de he's his debut. Oh my god! And I'm just getting all tongue tied up in this bitch. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me, yo, man? Finally, your boy Guzma. After all of these episodes, he's finally, finally, finally making an appearance in the anime. Holy shit, that's crazy! Like, pardon my, pardon my bad language, man. But oh my god. That is absolutely amazing. My right leg won't stop shaking now, man. I'm just like, I am blown away to the moon with this right now. And see, here's the thing, okay? Do you guys remember Guzma's signature Pokemon, your boy Galissapod? Well, your boy is hoping that Galissapod will, in fact, make an appearance in the anime alongside Guzma as well. <laughs> oh my god! And here's the thing, he comes marching into the Pokemon school after Kukui announces the formation of the Alola Pokemon League! Oh my god, dude. This is just gonna be absolutely amazing. Seriously, man? Oh my god, dude, my heart's pounding out of my chest. And if I'm making the connection right, this episode's gonna take place on the 31st of March, man. I cannot wait to see it. I can't wait to see it, man. This is gonna be great. Oh my god. So anyways, we gotta move on here. The fourth episode features Lily and Gladian looking into the whereabouts of their father, Moan, causing Lusamine to show them his old room. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta ha I have a big feeling that episode's gonna hit you in the feels if you know what I'm saying, my dudes. But anyways, guys, we have the episode titles right here, finally! So, the first episode title is known as A New Show, The Tiny Melody of a Magikarp. Next is Beauty and the Meowth. I kind of love how they, you know, uh, made it into a play on words, because, you know, Beauty and the Beast, Beauty and the Meowth. It's totally connected, right? But anyways, next up, Guzma... Emperor of Destruction, yo, man, I'm just so excited, baby, I'm honestly so very excited, and last but not least, Lily and the Secret Ingenuity Princess, wow, man, <laughs> wow, dude, dude, this is just gonna be absolutely amazing, you know what I'm saying, like, I can honestly say that I am, Looking forward to these episodes, especially the episode where your boy Guzma makes an appearance, yo. That's just going to be absolutely incredible, man. So, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys hyped for this shiznickel or what? Because you know, you know your boy Mega Crasher is. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the news. Oh, man. I cannot believe this, man. Freaking Guzma's gonna be making its appearance, man. He's gonna be making his appearance, and I just, I can honestly say, I am super, super maxed out, hyped up, excited. That is gonna be one episode y'all don't wanna miss, if you know what I'm saying, man. But anyways, guys, that's going to be a wrap here for this news video. I hope you guys enjoyed the news. I covered what I felt was going to be the most interesting. So let me know what you guys think about what we covered here in the news video today. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you slap a like on it and subscribe with notifications on. So that way you guys are kept in the loop whenever we get the scoop on the news, if you know what I'm saying. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you next up, Blue!